What is up guys? Today we're doing the tour of the gaming setup in my room. Uh, the last video was the tour of my room entirely. Today we're just doing the gaming setup because some people don't like long videos, which is fine. So I like to give that option to my viewers. So let's go ahead and sit down and look at what we got here. We start off on the left here. This is actually the actual gaming setup mainly. Uh, this is the, obvi obviously this is the gaming rig. It's not an Xbox. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, but this is the rig down here, and I have some random strobe lights on, so I'm going to turn those off. I'm going to turn them to, like, white light. Yeah, it looks good. Um, so down there is the rig, and the rig is, I'll go over the specs real quick. This is a two-way SLI, 674 GB. These are the EVGA, you can see them over there, Super Clock Plus Edition. Uh, so they're pretty, pretty beefy graphics there. You need that for the triple displays. Uh, this also has 32 gigs of RAM, the Intel 3570K i5 processor. I'm um, not doing a lot of video rendering, so I don't need anything too insane. Uh, but I would like to have a, a nicer processor than that. That'd be, that'd be great, but really, I don't do much editing. Um, I also have a 1,000-watt Cougar power supply in there. Um, I also have the MSI G45 uh, Z77 board. And what else do I have? I also have a couple hard drives, terabyte Western Digitals, and a solid state drive for the boot up, which is an Intel 120 gig. Um, for the peripherals, I have three VE278 series Asus displays. Um, this is a VE278H, and these are VE278Qs on the side. Uh, the one in the middle, I think, is a higher contrast ratio by 40 million to one. Whereas these ones have 10 million to 1. So it's not much better in the center, but it, it is a little bit better, and it is worth being noted, I suppose. Um, over here I have the X12 Turtle Beach Gaming Headset, because I don't really want to get a PC gaming headset. Because they tend to go really expensive when you want one that looks good. I do want the Megalodon or some sort of Razer headset to match my Razer gear across the board here. Um, but unfortunately I just don't have the money to buy one. So I stick with the X12s, which work plenty fine. Um, I also have the Black Widow, like I said earlier, the Razer Gear, Black Widow 2000, early 2012 edition. Uh, I actually went back and got this one instead of the 2013 because I like the blue LED backlighting. I also have the Imperator uh, gaming mouse here, which is just a standard gaming mouse, nothing too special. And then the Razer mouse pad that I got at Minecon, which is pretty cool to have there. Um, so there is the main gist of the gaming setup. I also have this desk here, which I don't know what type of desk this is or where it's from. But if you look under the desk, there are LED lights under there. So I can do things like this, change through all of them. I can have it fade between a bunch of colors. I can have it like flash and strobe and things like that. So it's pretty cool. I usually keep it on either blue to match my, obviously my rig, or I keep it on white so I can see what's under there and work on my rig if I need to. I keep it on blue for now. Um, moving over here, this is more gaming. Uh, this is the Xbox, which I'm probably going to upgrade to the Xbox 720 or the next edition, whenever that comes out. Or the Steam Box, who knows? Maybe the Steam Box, if it's pretty well priced, who knows? This is the 32 inch high air, uh, non, non special name brand or anything, just typical 32 inch LCD HD display. Nothing too special, but it does the job. I also have, um, in addition to my Xbox, I have a PVR to record, which I record onto my Mac over there. And I also have the uh, cable box, the Blu-ray, the Apple TV, all the typical stuff, and a router over there. Um, over here is all my boxes from my build I've done, and then my EVGA poster up there. And over here I just have some random wires and accessories, and, and of course, like tools for working on my rig. I'm um, just chilling over here. I have my Parrot Zeke headset, which I mainly use for you, for listening to music. But sometimes I'll use it for gaming or editing. It, it depends if, what I, if I'm testing to see how good it is, those types of things, or if I'm just using it for daily use. Um, over here, I have my uh, mount, wall mounted with a nice full motion arm, which is really cool. Um, Asus 23-inch gaming display. This is a bit of an old one, V two wait VH two thirty six series. Um, this is just LCD thirty wait thirty three twenty three inch. Um, I use, mainly use this for editing right now. I haven't used it yet for editing. I just mounted it, but it's a pretty good display for uh, editing, and I've used it in the past. It's a great display. And over here I have the MacBook Pro, which is mainly what I use for editing the footage I get on the Xbox and the footage I get on my rig. Um, I edit on my Mac. Why? Because I think that Mac 
editing software is much more intuitive and it's a lot easier to use to get the results I want. And to be honest, you're not going to get much better of a result on a PC uh, with just basic editing like I do. Um, Mac is plenty enough for me. Um, if I ever want to get into real 3D animation though, I'd probably start working on a on PC platform. Down here, I have the iPad Mini, which I use for looking up random things. And yes, sometimes I do game on the iPad Mini. I have some games in there, which are always fun. And why is this all blurry? I don't know why I hit a game either. Oh yeah, I got some games on there, which I rarely play. But hey, that's my mobile gaming console. Until Project Shield comes out, that'd be pretty cool. Um, anyway, there's my Turtle Beach XL, uh, 11s, by the way. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's my gaming setup, for the most part. Let's swing around here. I get a little bit of a wide angle. And you guys can see the whole setup together. So there you go. That's pretty much it. That is my gaming setup. This is the shorter video. Coming in at six minutes. Not that bad. And that's pretty much it. I'm Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.